Hello everybody, it's Pun, the Frugal Streamer, and I have a new video for you. Nerd or Die just came out with a new overlay pack I think a lot of you will be interested in, especially those that really like to take and make it their own with their own custom colors, that sort of thing. This is the Focus overlay pack uh, that they come out with, and I really like it a lot. It's very basic. A lot of people prefer minimalistic kind of overlays now, not something super busy. That meets the needs of most people now with this minimalistic kind of style that people want on their streams. So let's go ahead and look at how to set this up on Streamlabs OBS. They make it very easy to do. I'll show you how to do it real quick and I'll show you what you get uh, with the pack. So let's get into it. Okay, before we get into the setup, I want to show you exactly what I got. So this is the page and go to nerddie.com, go to their products and find focus. And this is what I bought. Now I bought the overlay pack. It's the cheapest version you can get it right now. It's $9. Uh, you have a, a number of things you could buy, including alerts, the full screen package, which is 18. Uh, and then you get the overlay source files, full screen package source files. These are uh, Photoshop and uh, After Effects files that you can go in and edit to your uh, satisfaction, to your personal uh, branding, that sort of thing. So it's really nice. All right, so when you get this, you're going to initially, you're going to have to extract the files. It'll be a zip file. So you extract the files to a folder on your hard drive somewhere. And what I've done, I've, you know, I have a Nerd or Die folder with all of the different packs that I've bought and done uh, reviews on. So here I've done a, made a focus folder. And this is what you get with the base overlay. Uh, so focus overlay, you get a setup guide, which will send you to a website, Nerd or Die website. I would actually recommend you go there first and read it because it gives you a lot of helpful information, including the fonts used, different colors that are used. Uh, and it kind of gives you an overview of what you get. Then here you get a couple folders. You get a stream elements install. Uh, and of course you get all of the different ones that are supported by stream elements, including YouTube, Twitch, Facebook. Uh, easy to do with this one. You click on this and it will send you to stream elements website and it will automatically set up the overlays for you right there. So it's very simple to do. Now for Streamlabs OBS, you get an overlay file. So this is what we're going to use to import into uh, Streamlabs OBS. So very simple to do here. I'll show you that in a second, but I wanna show you some more things that you get. Uh, so we have uh, the different links for Nerd or Die that you get for their support. You get a couple of different widgets depending on what you're using. So I have an events list and a chat widget here. Now this is gonna be helpful if you're using OBS Studio. This is where your files are located so that when you're building a scene manually in OBS Studio, this is what you use. All right, so then you, of course, you got different uh, color schemes here, black, green, black and white, dark blue and blue, gray, yellow, purple and pink, red and white, and turquoise and sand. And so let's open up the, uh, let's go with a turquoise and sand. We'll see what we got. So here we have countdown timers. You got a one minute timer, five minute, 10 minute. You got a di different various uh, dark and light themes, wide versus narrow. Uh, you have icons here for, let's go with a uh, large light. We'll see what we got. So you've got YouTube, Super Chat, YouTube member. You got your social medias. You got raids, mixer. So you have all of these different icons that they get you have panels that you can use for your pages whether you're on uh, mixer twitch whatever you have scene effects uh, these are different transitions that you can use they're basically like luma wipes uh, and then of course here's your different scenes and uh, these are just uh, png files uh, transparencies you got support bars that you can use you got horizontal ones and of course you can see all the different ones that you have here available uh, that are uh, that you can use, and these are M files or media files. Same thing for vertical. So you notice you got you just get a lot of different things. Here's your transitions that you can use, and you also this is really neat. What it focuses the first package that I've seen that's done this is they give you a frame for your hand cam for those people that want to show their mouse and their hand, you know, and the movement of their mouse while they're playing like a first person shooter. So there's a lot of things that comes with this pack for the price that you pay. It's really nice. And uh, this, like I said, again, this is the basic pack. If you get the 
the full package with source files and everything, you get all of the raw files that are uh, that are your After Effects and your uh, Photoshop, which is really cool. Anyway, so now let's go ahead and get into setting this up on Streamlabs OBS, and we'll see how it lays out. All right, so it's really easy to get this set up in Streamlabs OBS. What we need to do first, we need to go into Settings, click on the Settings gear, then go to Scene Collections, and then click on Import Overlay File. Now we'll go and find that overlay file that we showed earlier, and then when you get to it, you just simply uh, allow Streamlabs OBS to install it. The great thing about this is that it does everything for you. So it's simple to do, and once you get it all set up, then Streamlabs OBS, like I said, does all the work. And then you get all of your scenes and sources already organized, and it's just a matter of you going in and then selecting the ones that you want and then getting rid of the ones you don't. Now, you see here you get a couple different scene styles for starting scenes. You get a welcome scene. It kind of gives you a little intro what's available here. And then you get some in-game overlays different uh, light and dark themes. You get a horizontal and a vertical or stack theme. And you can see within that you have all of your different sources from all of your alerts to your different camera frames. Uh, so it's really nice the way they've got it set up and it's simple to get going and catering to what you need. All right, so I wanted to run through a few of the scenes that I've made using Focus, and this is just very basic. I haven't gone in and done anything crazy other than adding a few filters, um, playing around with the colors and that sort of thing, but I've made three scenes using the various ones they've already given us. Uh, this box would represent where my webcam would go, and then I have this in-game horizontal scene, very basic. Uh, the, of course, the black area here is actually a media file that's playing Battlefield Five. And then I have my webcam and a simple little alerts area here underneath it. And then I have my intermission, which is, of course, the freaking streamer coffee break because I love my coffee with a bigger uh, 16 by 9 webcam, my logo. And that's really it. Uh, for the transition itself, it's one of the Luma White files that they've given us here. And you can see all the different ones here. I've got, I'm using the red and white ones. But, uh, so, yeah, I mean, it's very simple to build, um, and there's a lot of things that you can do with this, especially if you already have uh, After Effects and you buy the source files that come along with this pack. You can go in and edit, change colors. You can do all kinds of things with it. Uh, that's why they call it the Content Creator Pack, uh, because it really does give you a lot of avenues you can go with design uh, to meet your brand and style so anyway i wanted to show you that but uh that's this is really the focus uh overlay pack in a nutshell and you know this is all of about maybe 10 minutes of playing around with it all right guys so look that's it uh the nerd or die focus overlay pack i really think is probably my favorite because it is minimal and it's very basic it allows creators to go in and make their own designs, cater to their own brand. Instead of it being branded to a specific game or something, I really like it a lot. So go out there, give it a shot if you want to, uh, you know, try to create your own overlay using this basic package. Uh, I, I like it a lot. I really do. And uh, like I said, Nerd or Die knocks them out of the park. And they are fantastic for making overlay packs, especially if you're using Streamlabs. OBS and now Stream Elements because all of their uh, packs now support Stream Elements too, which is great. So anyway, that's it, guys. Thank you for watching. Uh, now, listen, I got some uh, stuff I need to talk to you about real quick. Okay, I have now got a Patreon page. Uh, this includes a lot of perks for different tier levels, uh, up to fifteen dollars a month. Uh, the basic tier level is five dollars a month. Look, if you want to support me in another way other than subscribing to the YouTube channel. This is a great way for you to do so. It gets you some nice little perks. Uh, it's like you said, you can go to the website, patreon.com forward slash the frugal streamer. You can see what all the perks are. Uh, the tier three perk is I think $15 a month and that gets you your own custom pack for your live stream, a custom overlay package designed specifically for you where you get all of the design decisions. So anyway, just putting that out there, there is some nice stuff, including one-on-one -on -one setup time with me where I can go in and set up your own live stream for you. Okay. 
So anyway, think about it, guys. Giveaways, all that good stuff. Other than that, if you enjoyed this video and it's helped you out, hit the like. They help out a lot, especially with exposure on YouTube. So give me all the likes you can. I would appreciate it. And subscribe to the channel. I'd love to see you come back. All right, guys. Thank you. Have a great rest of your week. This is Pun Frugal Streamer. We'll see you later.